So I will assume that you're now logged into WordPress and currently viewing the desktop within the system. The desktop is like a home page for WordPress. So return here if you get stuck or lost in one of the sub pages within WordPress. For, to begin editing a page, there's a couple of ways. If you're a beginner, simply click the pages link on the left navigation here, this vertical navigation on the page, hover over it. You can either click pages or click the all pages link, which pops up. All the current pages on your site will load. And today we will edit the customer services page just for demonstration purposes. So we could either click on the link customer service or the edit button underneath. Just avoid clicking the quick edit for the moment. That only allows you to do minor changes. So I'm going to click on the edit button and wait for the page to load. Once the page is fully loaded, we can begin editing. You will notice the Avada theme creates a simple box layout to the page, which makes viewing and editing content very simple. Initially, I will demonstrate how to add text to the current customer services section. So I'll scroll down to where the customer services section starts, this box here. What you don't want to do is edit the container that surrounds the text block. What you want to do is scroll over the text block and four icons will appear. The first icon is a pencil icon and, it, and when you hover over it, it pops up element settings. This is the edit button. This is what you will commonly click on to edit the text. The other buttons to the right, we have a clone element section. Click on that and it will duplicate the text block. And if you scroll over to the right, we can save the element or we can remove it by clicking the trash can icon. As we have two, I will click on the trash on one, remove the um, section. And then now we can edit this text block this text block. If I scroll over the text again, notice it changes to the four icons and we can select the pencil icon on the left and up pops a text editor, which makes it nice and clear that we can now start editing the text. The text editor displays the text as it would appear on the website. The text editor is very similar to a, the options you see in Microsoft Word or other editing packages. You have the bold, italics, bullet points, or quotes, or you can centralize the text using the icons along the top of the screen here. There's also an option to add links, which we'll look at in another video. There's various other options along the bottom here, such that you can change the font color. You can select a uh, word or a line of text and change the font color. But as I mentioned before, you probably want to avoid changing the color here because the colors and fonts are predefined in a different section of the Avada theme, which we'll look at in another video. But you might find the undo button useful. Should you make any mistakes, you can just go backwards. Um, and now we're gonna add some text to the end of the paragraph. We're actually gonna create a new new paragraph and we're just going to add a line such as, please call us on our telephone number 018237811664. We've added the text. We've only got two options here to save or cancel what we've done. We're gonna save that. So we've saved the text and all we have to do now is scroll to the top of the page and update the page. So we're gonna click this blue update button within this publish box in the top right hand corner of the page. This is critical you do this. If you don't update the page, your changes will be lost. So I'm gonna click update now and then we can view what we've done by simply clicking on either the view page button here and, or there's a view page button along the text in the um, toolbar along the top of the page. This toolbar appears once you've logged into WordPress. So I'm gonna click on view page and then the page will load. 
Okay, so there's the change that I've just made. There's a quick way to edit, get back into the edit mode on this page. You'll notice the toolbar is still here because we're logged into WordPress. We can click edit page and we're going to go back into edit mode for this page. And now we're going to look at adding an image next to the block of text. I shall now add a image to the right of the block of text we just edited. So scroll down to where that block of text is. We want to put an image here where it says plus elements. We can add, um, we, we can add images, we can add bullet points, we can add lots, there's lots of different elements we can add, but we need to add an image. So we need to select the image frame elements. We do that by clicking on the add button finding the image frame option here or image frame elements. So we select the element by clicking on it. And now you notice it says image frame in the top left. So the first option is to upload the image to display in the frame. So we click the upload image button here to the right, click on that and we're taken to the media folder. This is where all the images that we've currently used on our website is stored. If the image you want to add is not already here, we need to upload it from our computer. So we click on the upload files link in the top left, click on that, and then there's a button here where we select the files from our computer. So I'm gonna click on that, and I'm gonna find in my videos folder, the temporary image for demonstration purposes I'm going to use. So I'm gonna click on that image twice, and that will upload to the media right to the media library. Now that you'll notice that it is selected with a blue tick in the corner, and all we need to do at this stage is insert. There's only one option: insert into page. So we click the blue insert into page button, bottom right, and you'll see the image. There's various options that we can apply to the image below the image, but. For now, we're just going to add it to the page simply by clicking save, and then you'll see it in the page, there's the image. And if I hover over the image, I get the option to edit the image again by clicking the pencil icon. So for now, we shall scroll to the top of the page and click the blue update button as before within the publish box. As soon as that's updated, we can click the view page link again either this one below or the one in the toolbar. It will load a page and show us what we've done. There's the image. That's it, well done. That's how you add an image using the Avada theme in WordPress. Subscribe below to view more advanced image editing videos coming soon. Goodbye for now.